Oh, hi, hello. Welcome to my Wednesday. All right, so it's the first official day at the new warehouse, and obviously, obviously, it's in shambles. We have our stuff just scattered all over the place, multiple rooms. There's still stuff on one of the trucks that we just like, it was our last load and we were just like, just drop it and we'll get to it tomorrow. My dad's asking for stuff and I'm like, uh, I think it's still in the back of the truck. I think it's wrapped in a pallet that's on the dock. I think it's, so it's gonna be a rough couple of days just trying to like unpack things and put things back in its place. My biggest concern obviously is the office. And I was really excited about this space because we've got a lot of room, right? Now, unfortunately, two rooms, the ceiling collapsed at one point. And, um, and while it's fine, it's not ideal. And then my brother makes the point that these buildings are so old that that insulation probably has asbestos in it. So we should probably get somebody in here to remove that as soon as possible. I get in here and I'm all excited to start setting up desks and everything and realize, A, what I thought was an outlet down here isn't isn't an outlet. I, I don't know what outlet it is. Maybe you guys, can one of you guys know this? Just by standing up, I was like, oh, there's an outlet. And then I actually go to plug something in. I'm like, wait a minute, what is that? What, what kind of outlet is that? I'm so confused. So that's not working. And so then I look around and I'm like, okay, cool. There's an outlet over here. Except it's so old and so like wallered out that I couldn't put my laptop charger in it. It kept falling out. It won't hold like the, the it's like, it won't hold the cable, they fall out. So the only outlet, the only working outlet in this entire room is up in the front against the glass, which is where I set up the desk and set up the computer so we can at least work today, but that's it. And when I plugged my laptop into it, it didn't have enough, I, I'm, I'm gonna go and say amps. It didn't have enough amps to charge the laptop, it just powered the laptop. So the printer, desktop, monitor, and my laptop didn't have enough juice to charge my laptop. So I'm like, all right, plan B. I got my dad set up in here. I was like, yeah, this is, you know, th this is a perfect desk office for my dad, right? He wants to use a standing desk, which by all means he should. He bought it. He wants to use it. Cool. I'm going to set up uh, his old, like the side of his desk there for more space. And then I'm going to set up a desk there for my brother and I'll move, I'll move this computer in there. And then him, and my brother, him, and my dad, and my brother can be in the same room, right? Austin's not really at the desk very much, so it doesn't really matter, but at least then there's working power against that wall, right? I'll take this desk, I'll kind of rotate it around, I'll put it myself in that corner, and I'll set up my iMac here and make this my space for now. Trash doesn't really need a laptop or a computer, so I'll set his desk up here just so he has it somewhere to sit and a, and a table to write down and do stuff, whatever, all right? And then over here, we have all our spices and... Uh, Tiffany and Sierra organized that for us. That's nice. We got all our spices in here out of the way and whatnot. But again, the ceiling's all collapsed and there's wiring that needs to be fixed and lighting that needs to be fixed. And then this is the other office that has the the, the, the ceiling collapsed. The entire, all the drywall's gone from the ceiling and whatnot. And then over here is the guy that moved with us. Uh, that's his office in the corner. So he's, he's actually got probably the nicest setup, ironically. But we told like, oh yeah, you can take the one out of the way because we're going to have all of this space. We're going to have all of this space for us. And yeah, and now we're like, wait, we don't actually have that much space. So yeah, um, the internet phone guys will get here in about an hour and a half. Um, so I don't want to get too far ahead knowing not knowing yet where he's able to hook up. Like the electrical room, you know, the the all the hookups and everything is out there. But obviously we need the phone and internet to be somewhat in here. So I think my brother just got back. Maybe. I gotta check on him. Um, so yeah, I, I, again, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I mean, technically I could I could be out here on the other side of the glass and set up a desk out here because there is an outlet right here, I believe. Yep, there's an outlet right there. So, I mean, I could be the front facing out and just be here. But I kinda wanna be inside there with everybody else, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, like I said, up in the air, Nothing's permanent or set in stone. Like this is the way it has to be. So we got some wiggle room. Um, kitchen, refrigerator does not work properly. It's not getting cold. The freezer actually feels like the refrigerator. So right now we have everything in the freezer, even though it's whatever. But the microwave works, the oven works. The sink works, but leaks. We need to fix the P-trap and the faucet. But again, we've got a lot more options, a lot more uh, 
possibilities here. Got some leftover pizza from yesterday. As far as the warehouse goes, work in progress. Obviously the priority was to get the trucks out for deliveries, work through the chaos, which we did. Um, everybody's got projects. My project's the office. Travis's project is the dry goods. So as of right now, we have everything lined up, just you know, palletized, and Tra Austin and I were going through it this morning, just trying to weed out what we needed. There's a bunch more in that room over there. Um, so everything's kind of a mess, but like, where do we want to put these racks? What makes the most sense for these to set these up and then start using them, both for the coolers and for dry goods? And then of course, everything out here is just still on pallets. Like, here's the, here's the desks that I need, I need to bring inside. There's two desks here, and there's two more back there. Or well, two de three desks and one, of, like I said, a side panel for my dad. And like I said, we still got the last bit of this. There's like two pallets and a bunch of just like large items that we just kind of threw here. This is the last, the last load we had. So there you go, we're, uh, we're moved. Now it's just a matter of getting settled in, getting everything in its place, and uh, start making it home. Pros and cons about our new area. Pros, we have a ton of places to eat. So excited, taco shops, um, snoring hot dogs, uh, even like just regular ass like fast food. There's so many more options here than where we were at before. Over where we were at before, it was Jack in the Box, Jack in the Box and Whataburger. And then a couple of like, you know, little burrito shops like Filiberto wannabes that were kind of like meh. Here we got everything. Like within a mile, we have everything around us. I'm really excited. Plus, uh, Costco and Restaurant Depot, like I said, is only a mile, two miles away. So that's more convenient. Uh, that's a big pro. Other pro, like I said, we've got a, process, a potato processing company across the street. We got Klein's Pickles behind us, Costco and Depot. Um, we're a mile from mushroom, or well, not a mile, but um, we're closer to the mushrooms. We're closer to another one of our, we're in the between our two uh, dry goods vendors, so we're not, you know, one or the other. Uh, so those are, all, those are all pros based on the location. Cons, we are in a very, um, like, homeless and drug-centric area. Like, this, this row, this area here is, there are just a crap ton of homeless and druggies and just, it's, it's really shady. Uh, a lot of the things they had to do with this warehouse was in response to can't leave things outside because they'll steal it. They'll pilf like even the trucks. Like we got to figure out what to do with our trucks. We're putting our, our critical ones inside, but we can't put all of them inside. Especially the big, the biggest one won't we'll, we'll actually make it through. You're good. No, you're good. Five thirty. The phone and internet installer just left. Uh, so yeah, that was, how big of a job was that? He got here about 1.30, I think. Or, I don't know. We'll just, we'll call it 1.30. It might have been a little after that. I don't know off the top of my head. I checked my call log. So four hours, four hours to do the install. Just how, just because how old the building is and he had to rewire stuff and run cables and, but we're good. I'm uh, just waiting for everything to re boot up to make sure we're, we're solid before I leave. Coolers are good. <coughs> I'm exhausted, man. It's been the longest, and the week, I say I'm gonna say a week because it's been the longest like Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday I, I, I can't even talk. It's been a long week. So I was reminded by a comment here on the vlogs that today is National Tequila Day. Why that wasn't on my calendar, I don't know. I know National Margarita Day is on my calendar, I put that on there. So I put it on the calendar so that it's, I'll be reminded every year, the day in advance. My dad's on his way, be able to key. Um, anyway, I come walking in the door. I told you it was like 5.30 I think when I left the warehouse. It took me about an hour to get home. I had to make one stop on the way. Um, I walk in the door and Tiffany has chips, salsa, and a margarita waiting for me. It was literally the best way to walk in the door. I was just like, oh. Took my shoes off, sat down, and just 
started munching and sipping. It was fantastic. Um, this is number two. I was gonna take this to the spa, but I'll probably finish this before I even get to the spa because I just had, she made some quesadillas, used up some ground beef that we had left over from tacos. Um, but uh, I'm gonna hit the spa because that's, that's definitely what I want right now. That it felt so good on Saturday, the jets on my shoulders and my feet and just my back and just sore, just sore. But I was just telling, I was just telling Tiffany and Bryce how like, I woke up this morning like, surprisingly not super sore like i i could tell you know i'd worked muscles and, and done some stuff you know yesterday moving and everything but my feet i think was the worst of it um i think i just working out the last seven weeks i, I don't know it's the only thing i can attest to it i just have more energy i'm recovering faster i'm not complaining okay because i've been complaining how it takes forever to heal i feel like until i started working out and now all of a sudden i'm healing faster i don't know it's it's whatever um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I think I'm going to finish this margarita and then I'm going to pour myself a glass of tequila and I'll sip on the tequila in the spa is like what I'm going to do because it's tequila day and I have some really nice tequilas that I have not touched in months. In other news, Bryce, the vlogger is here. I haven't vlogged at all today. What episode are you on? Are you still doing numbers? Are you still episode them? 20. 20? Holy crap. Should be more realistically. It like, should be. But so I've been posting kind of a lot, like every other day, every two days, maybe three, like a three day gap, like once. Like sometimes I would do like three videos in a row. But with all the Houston ones, it's like one day, two days per vlog. So it's like I'm really not caught up on, on the days. Like I'm still, I think three weeks behind. So wow. it's like I, I haven't posted Fourth of July. Wow. Like I think that might be the next one. Yeah, you got back. I think uh, the week before Fourth of July. Yeah. So. Yeah. Vlogging machine, man. Your, your own, well, I mean, the thing is, if you think about this, you're recording daily. Yeah. So it's almost like, I mean, I, I know you don't record in a daily fashion where you could post a vlog every day, but mm -hmm. you bunch it up in a week, but, but you wait so long to do it. It's like, that's yeah. where you get. Like when I get to, like, I'm, I don't know, like, what should I do with the 4th of July? Because it's like, it's a, it's a holiday since so I posted on July 26th and like, and it's just weird because no one. Everyone's already experienced 4th of July. They don't care about my 4th of July a month later. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You yeah, definitely need to get caught up faster. I even said slow down on the, on the vlogs if nothing's mm -hmm. going on. Don't vlog unless there's something's going on just so yeah. you can get caught up. Mm -hmm. But don't lose your momentum because you're crushing it. Yeah. I'm proud of you, man. Sierra's over at uh, me and my papa's house watching Buddy while they're out of town. They come back tomorrow. But anyway, she gets over to their house and there's a storm. Trees are knocked down. Yeah, so, water yeah, everywhere. Like, they got a little microburst over there. It's so crazy how, you know, we're, I don't know, about 45 minutes away or so. Nothing here. Barely any, any wind. And she has a full-on storm that knocked over trees. That's Arizona for you. Anyway, um, spent about 30 minutes in the spa, just hitting the jets on the shoulders, the feet, the back. Fantastic. Uh, came inside, took a quick shower. I'm just going to do two quick updates on orders and call it a night. Uh, yeah, long day. What was it? Day four, Saturday, Monday. I got Sunday off, but Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Long days. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow we're going to go see... Deadpool and Wolverine. I'm so excited. I love Ryan Reynolds. Uh, I love the Deadpool movies. I love Wolverine. Hugh Jackman was Wolverine. Like, mm, all of it. All around. I'm so excited. Uh, Going to see with Sierra and Jacob. Bryce says he wants to go, but back when we got the tickets, he didn't seem like he was interested. Of course, it's been months now. So I will probably, most likely, see it again with Bryce. So we'll see it with uh, Sierra and Jacob tomorrow. And then sometime this weekend or next week, whenever Bryce wants to, uh, I'll go see it again with him. So... Anyway, uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. I'll tell you all about my thoughts on the movie and log on.